Hey guys, it's Kyla at the MJC, and today we are looking at the order for pretrial, order to appear. Um, I will get into that in just a minute, but before I do, as always, nothing in this video is intended to be legal advice. It is a video, so I'm not able to analyze your specific situation and evaluate whether the path you're taking is the right one for you. If you do have questions about that sort of thing, I would definitely recommend getting some legal advice. You can get free brief legal advice here in Milwaukee County through the Marquette Volunteer Legal Clinics. If you are not located in Milwaukee County, you can contact your clerk of court to find out what resources are available in your area. All right, so uh, the order for pretrial order to appear is used in contested part two. So if you are not going forward separately or contested, uh, then you don't need this document. You probably need a different order to appear document. Um, but for those of you who are going forward separately or contested, you do need this document. Please note that it is a Milwaukee County specific form. So you can see up here, we don't have to put in the county because it presumes you're in Milwaukee. So if you are watching this and you are not located in Milwaukee County, you most likely do not need this form. Uh, and you're gonna put in the caption. And we've now gone through enough forms that you are used to doing captions and you know that you're going to put the names in in the order that they are on that original summons and petition, uh, or if you filed jointly and are now going forward contested, that original joint petition. So whatever the order the names were originally. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in uh, Jane, as you all know, is our petitioner, and John was our uh, respondent. And something I'm sure I've mentioned in previous ones, but just as a note, you want the names to match, so if you didn't include your middle names, you don't have to include your middle names. If you did include your middle names, you want this to match the original caption. Here you're going to put in your case number, and again, we've been doing that, so you guys are familiar with that by now. It is that, uh, you know, year, so 20 right now, uh, FA. Uh, if you're doing this in pen, you'll circle FA and scratch out PA so that FA is the readable one. If you, like me, are typing this in, then you'll just type in uh, your number here and then the six digits here that follow. And you'll indicate, as we've had to do a couple of times now, which, uh, which family branch it's with. Again, that should be stamped on your petition. It'll say family A, B, C, D, or E, and list the judge's name. And those of you who've been watching this whole video series will recall that John and Jane are with family B. All right, believe it or not, that is all for this form. The court is going to fill out the rest of this after you submit it. This is where they're gonna write when your pretrial date will be, which for a lot of you will be the day that you end up getting divorced. So um, that is all for this form. Thank you as always for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you do have additional questions, you can find us in room G9 of the Milwaukee County Courthouse, uh, where we can give you additional information on the forms or provide you with legal information resources. But otherwise, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you go out and represent yourselves well.